a big warm hello to everyone who's watching this right now. And um, <laughs> I'm trying to record this video for the past three days and something always goes wrong. Let's go to the game. Yeah. Or not, because my recording crashed. Again. We're not gonna have a microphone today. Never mind that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I think in this episode we're going to do some lore. There is actually lore to this game, can you imagine that? Let's go! Downloading data... Ugh. Oh, let's get it done! This is chapter on Shakespeare. Outside the mansion, where Borovsky and the others sat at the table for t set for ten, a lavish coachman... Uh, a lavish coachman... A lavish coachman remained stopped just past the gate, the coachman tending to his horses. I've decided not to stay. The man, who at times was king, a prince, a lover, but always a liar, left the moonlight to re-enter the coach. Aww. But monsieur, what about the banquet? Uh, capri Capricious. Capricious fate has invited a guest to fair mine, but mine to take my chair. Right? <laughs> oh, he has different color eyes! Woo! Oh, I have... Oh my god. Hers is center stage tonight, though I shan't say to see... Wait, we're doing... I think this thing will be appropriate and not at all creepy. Yeah? I had a skull somewhere, but this will do, right? Hers is center stage tonight. Though I shan't say to see how she performs. With my accent, I think Shakespeare just becomes a nightmare. <laughs> the coach hurried off through the night, its passenger relaxing into a seat, cushioned against the harshness of the road. Quietly he spoke to himself, a bard playing to the audience of none. That's cute. <laughs> oh, what upturned expectations have come to the arrival of this new player? It's interesting how he calls me a player, that's so weird. The bard has seen Borovsky, but for a moment and yet he found himself haunted by her. No devil can begue men to persuasions more than she with an angel's form. Or be she one of heaven's messengers behind the horns and wings of temptation. The coach rocked it. It's so... It, Shakespeare is just... I love him, but I do not love reading him. The possessive playwright, William Shakespeare. You got a Shakespeare that's beer good, Brovsky! <sighs> Sebastian! If you would make us a cup of tea, a cup of herbal tea, the best kind of tea, and the only kind of tea, I will fight Yorkshire tea. Dinner had ended with no answers. The Comte invited me to his suit for an explanation, as promised. I have only one question. How do I get back? Is that your only question? Can you maybe ask something like, is Napoleon single? Or is like, where is Leonardo da Vinci? Because we've met everyone but Leonardo da Vinci. I want to see my day. Does that door have a deadbolt? Where is the key? Is it your fingerprint? Whatever, I don't care. I just want to open. Door isn't locked. Opening it is, is easy. The door isn't locked. Opening it is easy. But it only opens under very specific conditions. What conditions? The specifics are a bit hard to explain. Le Comte de Saint Germain got up from his chair and stopped in front of uh, an oversight hourglass. An hourglass? Oh, yeah, right, that's a thing there. Oh, I forgot. The top half was full of sand. Oh, it will open when all the sand in this hourglass has fallen. It's quite precise, and I rely on its timing myself. I see. And approximately, how long does that hourglass run for? It takes a month, on average. So like 30 chapters? Can we get like... A month on average? It typically takes a month for all the Santa Fall, doesn't it, Sebastian? Yes, Le Comte. 
Hmm? Lecom? Mr. Lecom? Monsieur Lecom? Well, they can forget that. There's no need to fix it on that strange door. Why would I need it to get back? I don't know how it became night without my knowing, but I can return my t to my hotel and get back to work tomorrow. If only, if only, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna have some hot boys in your life. The Comte de Saint Germain returned to his set and picked up a newspaper, folded. Oh, we're gonna get the date thing. We're in the 19th century. Yay! Anyway, my recording crashed. Anyway. Here we go, back to it. On the cusp of the return of their century, if the date is correct, but how could it that be? Uh, magic? Vampire magic. France is France, but You arrived at this mansion by traveling for time. You're kidding me. And this is the end. Thank you everyone so much for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, I have a small announcement to make after the video. Hi. So basically, uh, <laughs> this video took me incredibly long just because of like technical issues. I just had a lot of technical difficulties and it's worsened. <laughs> so I got a new computer. I feel like I'm working on like a lot of things. So that kind of slowed down the video making process, but don't you worry. There will be more hot boys and I will finally be able to do not one chapter per episode, which it was kind of my limit at the moment because of the it's hard to edit videos on a very slow computer but now i have a really good one so basically yeah i think i'm gonna do also vlogs on this channel so if you're interested in those okay i hope i hope i said everything i wanted and i said it comprehensively yeah basically that's the tea bye bye <laughs>